You know, she was in her 70s when she started painting. What a legacy. Emily Kame Nawari's work is clearly international and extraordinary and well respected. She commands great prices. She was an absolute genius. She only worked for about eight years at the latter end of her life and to have produced the number of canvases, I think 3,000, of such extraordinary quality, telling her story, talking about her country, Al Hakir but in a way that is universal, in a way that people can respond to around the world. So Earth's Creation, one of her extraordinary works, paintings, was sold for 2.1 million a few years ago. That work is the most expensive work ever bought by anyone from a woman artist in this country that that work is absolutely contemporary of the here and now and vitally important as part of the story of modern art. Look, this old lady, she honestly didn't want to talk nonsense, didn't want to talk money story, didn't want to talk any of that sort of stuff. Emily just wanted to paint, to be left alone, and that's what she loved the most. She wanted cups of tea with a lot of sugar in it and biscuits. I was privileged enough to know her as a child and grew up watching her paint. And I think that's the most extraordinary thing about um, Emily K. Mawari's paintings is when you do see them, you can feel the sense of the presence of that lady in those paintings. Emily was born on her father's country, Alankara. Emily was well and truly into her late 70s when she first started painting. So this was a woman who had no references to modernism or uh, expressionism. What came out of Emily Kamawari came out of country. Emily Nwari can stand beside any artist in the world and she's been compared to other great abstract painters. But the point is, even if her work looks like, let's say, a Jackson Pollock, the sources of it are in her country. It's genuinely innovative work that does not come from Western painting. I think Emily set the scene for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Island artists to follow her in her extraordinary footsteps. Australia, with its great Indigenous artists, is one of the most innovative places in, in the world, in my view, in terms of what may be the material or the subject or the approach within contemporary art. It's a hugely open field, uh, an exciting field.